Now, more than 1,500 victims have been transferred to larger hospitals in other provincial capital cities so that they can receive better treatment. Meanwhile, despite the difficulties, thousands of medical workers from across the country are now on site treating the wounded and giving them physical and psychological aid. Paul Crow has the details. 95 injured people arrived in Xi'an, the capital of Shaanxi province, by special plane on Friday. As they're mostly ethnic Tibetans, the hospitals arranged appropriate meals for them. If the meals do not suit our taste, we can tell the chef where they can provide us materials for us to cook ourselves. I appreciate their help and I will never forget it. Many Tibetan volunteers are also helping patients and doctors to communicate. We have arranged donations for our Tibetan compatriots and we are here to give a hand. After natural disasters like the Yushu quake as well as medical treatment, psychological aid is indispensable. On Saturday afternoon, three psychologists set off from Shenyang for Yushu. They will be joined by seven other experts from Beijing and Shijiang to form a psychological consultation team. I stayed in Wenchuan for about two weeks in 2008. This time, we will provide Yushu quick survivors with appropriate psychological intervention. Doctors say those who went through the disaster will feel panic, then loss and anger. They need understanding and support. If not treated properly, the trauma of the quake may last a lifetime. Therefore, to reinforce their mental well-being is crucial for quake survivors. Paul Crow, CCTV.